Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing in MATLAB. So, we will continue with the numerical differentiation as we have discussed in the previous lecture. So, in the previous lecture we have discussed that how we can find out the first order derivative when our data is given to us that is not equispaced and we are able to find this expression number 3 for that one. Now, today I want to find out that how we can approximate the second order derivative. Now, we will use the expression 1 and 2 as we have discussed. So, using equation 1 and 2. So, that is given to me. So, this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. We eliminate f dash x naught from equation. Using this one, we eliminate f dash x naught. So, let us uh, eliminate this one. So, how we can eliminate so, multiply equation number by h 1 plus h 2 and equation 2 by h 1 and subtract. So, let us see what will happen. Now, what I am doing? I am multiplying this one because I want to remove this. So, I will multiply this by h 1 plus h 2 and this one by h 1 and then I subtract. So, let us see what will happen. So, I will get the expression h 1 plus h 2 f 1. So, this is the f 1 I am getting minus h 1 f 2. So, this I am getting because this is my f 1 and this is my f 2. So, I am getting h 1 plus h 2 f 1 h 1 minus and this is h 1 plus h 2 minus h 1 x naught. So, this is h 1 plus h 2 minus h 1 f naught. So, that I am getting then this one h 1 multiply by h 1 plus h 2 and this is a h 1 plus h 2 multiply by h 1. So, this will cancel out and the next expression I will get is h 1 plus h 2 into h 1 square by 2 factorial. So, this is I am getting minus h 1 h 1 plus h 2 square by 2 factorial and this I am getting second derivative at x naught. So, this is a second derivative I am getting at x naught. Now, the, the third one is the next one is it will be plus h 1 plus h 2 into h 1 cube by 3 factorial minus h 1 h 1 plus h 2 cube by 3 factorial. This is my third derivative and so on. So, this I am getting. Now, from here this will cancel out. Now, from here I, I can write that this expression becomes h 1 plus h 2 f 1 minus h 1 f 2. I can take this on the left hand side. So, this I can write h 2 f naught. Now, from here let us see that what the common term we can take. So, if you see from here I can take h 1 into h 1 plus h 2 by 2 factorial. So, this one 2 factorial is 2. So, this is just 2 value. If I take com common from here, so I will get here h 1 
minus h1 plus h2 this one now from here the same way i will get the terms h1 into h1 plus h2 by 6 so inside i will get h1 square minus h1 plus h2 square because this will come out f triple dash x naught and so on. Now from here I can write this expression and I, this will cancel out and I get minus h2. So from here I can write this expression as h1 plus h2 f1 minus h1 f2 minus h2 f0 and I can divide this one by this so it will be h1 h2 h1 plus h2 divided by 2 so this is I can write 2 so this become minus of f dash x0 and this expression become I can write this as a h1 h1 plus h2 here inside it will get h1 square minus h1 square minus h2 square minus 2 h1 h2 divided by 6 f triple dash x naught so this will cancel out and I will get this expression divided by h1 h1 plus h2 h1 h2 by 2 because I am taking the common terms so I will divide the term all the terms after this. So from here my second order derivative f double dash at x naught can be written as 2 times h1 so I can take this negative here so it will be h2 f naught plus h1 f2 minus h1 plus h2 f1 divided by h1 h2 and h1 and h2 minus this one I can take so this is this will cancel out this will cancel out with this and this h2 will cancel out from here so I will get h2 I can take common and this will cancel out so I can write here So, 2 will cancel out with 3 h2 plus i. Where is i is lying between x0 to x2. So, this will cancel out and from here I get this expression. So, now from here I can say that my second order derivative at x0 is of this form that contains the value at x0 at x2 and at x1 and this is of order this so this formula is of order using the third order derivative. Now let us see what will happen. So, so let us choose h1 is equal to h2 is equal to h. So let us see what will happen. 
in that case it will be second derivative at x naught this is h this is h it is 2 h so I can take this common so I will get 2 h so inside I will get f naught plus f 2 minus 2 f 1 and this will be h square into 2 h so this will cancel out and it will be f 0 minus 2 f 1 plus f 2 divided by h square and this is my second order derivative so using central scheme so this is central second order derivative that is f naught minus 2 f 1 plus f 2 by h square so this is sec a central second order derivative defense scheme right. so that we can define and now it will put h and h here so this will be of order h in this case but generally it is of order h square so that that is when we do the expression that will come out so this is the way we can we are able to write the second order derivative for unequal space data now so this is we have used for the forward similarly we can define backward defense formula so in the backward defense formula suppose we have the unequal space data and let it is my x naught this is my x1 and this is my x naught 2 this is my h1 and this is my h2 or you can take as xi xi minus 1 xi minus 2 doesn't matter so i can write from here this is my x naught minus h1 and this is x minus 2 x naught minus h1 plus h2 so from here now using taylor's expansion we can define the function at so this i define as f at minus 1 so this is x naught minus h1 so i can write this as f naught minus h1 f dash x naught plus h1 square by 2 factorial f double dash x naught so these terms we can take so i just define this as equation number 3 so it is 4 let us take it 4 similarly minus x naught minus h1 plus h2 so that is equal to f at minus 2 so uh, this one minus h1 plus h2 h1 plus h2 cube by 3 factorial so this is equation number 5 now from here if I take the first order derivative so from equation from equation number 4 we can find the simple first order derivative so I can define this as f dash x naught can be written as 
f x naught minus f at x naught minus h 1 divided by h 1 and plus the order of h 1. So, this is the backward difference operator for the first order derivative. So, that we already know if h 1 is equal to h then it, this is just the backward operator for the equi space data. So, this one we can uh, define very easily. Then now suppose I want to define this for the higher order derivative. So, higher order first derivative. So, the same way we have done in the previous lectures, yeah this one. So, if I take this expression for the first derivative from equation number 3 and instead of h 1 and h 2, I put minus h 1 and minus h 2. So, let us take a from equation 3 putting minus h 1 and minus h 2 instead of h 1 and h 2. So, we get, so if I do that one, so this is the same square term is there, this is also square, this is also square, but here it will be minus h minus h 2 and this is a minus sign here. So, now if I just write that one, then our f dash at x naught can be written as h 1 square f minus 2 minus h 1 plus h 2 square at f minus 1 plus h 2 square at f naught divided by h 1 h 2 and h 1 plus h 2. Let us see h 1 and h 2. So, this is my h 1 and this is my h 2 plus the terms I can write h 1. <laughs> divided by 6 and this is xi. Actually, if you see in this uh, case, this h 1 and h 2 was this one. It was my x 0, x 1 and x 2. So, it was my h 1 and this my h 2. Now, now I have x 0, x minus 1 and x minus 2. So, this is I am writing as h 1 and h 2 just uh, to write the same expression, but otherwise you can also write this as a h 0 or h 1. So, does not matter, but we are going forward. So, that is the expression for the first order derivative. using the backward. Similarly, because the same expression I have to do again and again. So, similarly, we can drive second order derivative. So, in the second order derivative, I do the same thing. I have the three values 1, 2 and 3. So, 3 point stencil is there and if I do this one, I can eliminate the value of f dash 1, f dash at x node. So, I can write this directly. So, this will come out 2 over h 1 h 2 over h 1 plus h 2 
H2 H1 minus H2 F0 plus 1 by 3 h square 1 by 3 h2 f triple dash xi where xi is belonging from this one. So, from here I can write directly but this expression you can find by eliminating the f dash x naught from from this expression. So, I want to if I want to eliminate this f dash x naught from here and from here I will multiply by h 1 and plus h 2 here and by h 1 and then I subtract. So, I, this will cancel out and then we can drive this formula. So, we will get this formula for the second derivative. So, this is the formula for the second derivative. Now, what will happen if I want to define, define the central difference formula? Till now, we were heading either on the right hand side means forward or the backward. Now, what will happen if I have x naught here? and this is my x naught plus h and this is my x naught minus h ok and I will call it this as h 1 and I call it this as h 2. So, basically this is my f 1, this is my f 0 and this is my f minus 1. Now, in this case I want to go forward also and backward also. So, we will go one point forward and one point backward. So, that is the way we can define the central defense formula. So, in this case I know that using Taylor's expansion I have to take x naught plus h 1 plus So, on. so this I 4, 5, 6, I will take it as equation number 6 and then I will take x naught minus h 2 going backward. So, if you see this one, then it will be f x naught minus h 2 f dash x naught plus h 2 square by 2 factorial f double dash x naught minus h 2 cube by 3 factorial so I call it equation number 7. So, in this case I am going forward and backward also. Now, to find out the first order derivative what I will do now to to approximate to find first order derivative. Now, find a difference formula for first order derivative. So, what I will do that in that case I want to find these values. So, what I do I will eliminate suppose I will eliminate f dash second derivative. So, what I will do that I will multiply this by h 2 square and I multiply this by h 1 square and then subtract. So, h 2 square multiply equation 6 minus h 1 square multiply equation number 5. So, what we will get? We will get h 2 square into f 1 minus h 1 square into f minus 1. 
f minus 1 this is equal to h2 square minus h1 square f naught this is fx naught so i can write f naught plus h1 h1 square plus h1 square into h2 i'll get f dash x naught from here now this will cancel out the next term i'll get plus h2 square h1 cube by 3 factorial plus h1 square and all the other terms. Now from here I can write this expression as h2 square f1 minus h1 square f minus 1 minus h2 square minus h1 square f naught. So, what I do I do I am taking this one as a common term. So, this will be my h1 this is h2. So, I can take h1 and h2 common. So, this will be my h1 plus h2. So, this can be written as my f dash x naught plus from here I can take h2 square and h1 square by 6 this common and inside I will get h1 plus h2 because h2 square and h1 square I am taking common. So, this will be divided by h1 h2 into h1 plus h2 and I take third derivative with xi uh, all other terms I ignored. So, from here this will cancel out this will also cancel out. So, I can write my central finite difference for first order derivative for the for the first order derivative. So, this become h 2 square f 1 minus h 1 square f minus 1 minus h 2 square minus h 1 square f naught divided by h 1 h 2 plus this is of order h 1 into h 2 by 6 you can write down. So, that is the expression central difference expression for the first order derivative for unequal space data. Now, this one I can write if h 1 is equal to h 2 is equal to h then I can write this as same so for equispace data I can write this as so h h and h I can take common so this will be 0 in that case so I can write from here h square can be written as f 1 minus f minus 1 divided by 2 h cube right plus this will be of order h square by 6. Now, this will I cancel out and from here I will get f 1 minus f minus 1 by 2 h plus order of h square and this is I know that this is the first order center scheme for the first order derivative. So, that is the way we can verify this one. Now, I can give one more expression for second order derivative. So, second order derivative. So, 
so I can eliminate so from 6 and 7 eliminate f dash x node from equation 6 and 7 so we can eliminate that one so how we can eliminate I want to find eliminate the first order this one so I will multiply this by h2 and this by h1 and then we will add so in that case if I do that one then I can write h2 f1 plus h1 f minus 1 so I have multiply this by h2 and this by h1 and I am adding together so on the right left side I will get this value on the right hand side I will get h1 plus h2 f naught plus then I will get h2 h1 square by 2 factorial plus h1 h2 square by 2 factorial and then I will get the second derivative plus h2 so on now I can take my h1 and h2 on the left hand side taking this term together so from here I can write directly that my f dash x naught can be written as h2 f1 minus h1 plus h2 f0 plus h1 f minus 1 divided by this one so what is this I can take h1 and h2 by this common so inside I will get h1 plus h2 and this will be divided by this one so if you take this expression this can be written as minus h1 minus h2 third order because in this case if I put h1 and is equal to h2 so this will cancel out so I will so I will take the one more term here so the next term will be 1 by 6 h1 cube over h2 cube divided by h1 plus h2 and then the fourth derivative with the xi. So this will be the expression for second order derivative using the center scheme and now from here you can verify that if we choose h1 is equal to h2 is equal to h then my f double dash x naught can be written as so this will be h this will be 2h this will be h so I can write my h common so this will be f1 minus 2 f naught plus f minus 1 divided by <coughs> this will be h square and 2 will cancel out so it will be h cube and this will be cancelled because the h minus h so third order derivative will be cancelled so it will be minus 1 by 6 and this is 2 into h cube by 2 h so this will cancel out and this will cancel out so from here I can write that this is equal to 1 minus 2 f naught plus f minus 1 by h square and this minus 1 by 6 h square f fourth derivative and that we already know that if we have the equispace data and we want to find out the 
the second order finite difference using the central scheme. So, this is the expression for that one and that is of order h square. So, this one we can verify by putting h1 is equal to h2 is equal to h. So, let me stop here. So, today we have discussed that how we can drive the formulas for the first order derivative for the second order derivative of higher accuracy that is of order h or order h square using for the data that is not equispaced. And uh, with this one we will want to close this unit that, the, that is the numerical differentiation and from the next lecture we will continue with the next unit that is numerical integration. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks very much.